from $105,000. With seating for up to seven people and a luxurious atmosphere, this SUV is currently the most attractive model bearing the EQS name. As the name suggests, his all-electric 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS is a high-performance SUV that replaces the company's large, stylish luxury sedan EQS. Both share a common platform and many other components, as well as the same wheelbase, but only the SUV offers a third row and can accommodate up to seven people. The cabin is lighter than a sedan due to the space available, and the luxury of design and materials is equally high. It can also be used with Mercedes' new 56-inch hyperscreen, but while I was impressed with the look of the Starship Enterprise's large glass panel, which stretches along the dashboard from door to door, the lack of a glass panel I was disappointed. Control them physically. The package includes 355 horsepower, 536 horsepower for EQS 450 Plus and EQS 580. The former gives him 305 miles of range on a single charge, and the latter 285 miles. What's new for 2023? The 2023 EQS SUV is the latest addition to Mercedes' growing portfolio of electric models under the EQ subbrand. It is the first SUV built on Mercedes' modular electric vehicle platform that underpins the EQE and EQS sedans, and is expected to go on sale later this year. Electric car engines, power and performance. The EQS SUV is his EQS sedan with similar, if not identical, raised seating and interior space, and a similar electric powertrain. The EQS 450 Plus produces 335 horsepower at the rear wheels. It is equipped with an electric motor. The EQS 580 produces 536 horsepower and 633 pound-feet of torque between front and rear electric motors that provide all-wheel drive. The EQS SUV comes standard with adjustable air suspension and a steered rear axle, making it incredibly agile. Unlike sedans, SUVs have an off-road mode that raises the suspension and alters the behavior of the powertrain. We tested this setup off-road behind the wheel of a prototype model and were impressed with the vehicle's performance, but we suspect most people who buy an EQS SUV will never make the effort. During our first test drive of the production model, we noticed that the EQS 580's acceleration was much more powerful, and when we arrived at the office for testing, we were able to reach 100 km per hour in 4.2 seconds. The EQS 450 Plus has a comfortable ride and most drivers feel it has plenty of power. Handling is confident but not overly satisfying and the EQS SUV's handling on the road is comfortable and relaxed, although feedback is minimal. This is normal considering the luxury mission. Autonomy, charging and battery life. Although it uses the same 107.8 kWh battery as the EQS sedan, the EQS SUV's projected range is less impressive. The entry-level EQS 450 Plus has a range of 500 km on a single charge, while the all-wheel drive EQS 454 Matic and EQS 584 Matic can range around 450 km on a single charge. Fortunately, the EQS SUV can be charged at 200 kW, and Mercedes claims the battery can charge from 10 to 80% in 31 minutes when connected to a compatible DC fast charger. Interior, comfort, cargo capacity. The interior of the EQS SUV is rich in the latest materials and equipment typical of modern Mercedes-Benz models. Standard interior features include optional lighting, heated and ventilated front seats, leather upholstery, a panoramic sunroof, and wireless charging. A 56-inch diagonal hyperscreen is optional. Fit and finish are impressive, and the cabin features well-designed storage spaces, including a large storage bin under the floating center console. The EQS comes standard with a five-passenger second-row seat, but an optional third-row seat can accommodate two more. Five-passenger models have up to 31 cubic feet of cargo space behind the second row of seats. In models equipped with three rows of seats, there are up to 28 cubes behind the second row, but in the third row this volume reduces to the seven. Infotainment systems and connectivity. For the ultimate cinematic experience, the EQS SUV can be equipped with the stunning 56-inch Mercedes hyperscreen, which spans the entire width of the dashboard. In addition to the digital instrument cluster, there is a 17.7-inch touchscreen that is primarily responsible for infotainment functions, and a 12.3-inch touchscreen for the passenger seat. While the novelty of the glass dashboard will certainly attract buyers, 
we can't help but complain about the complete lack of physical switches. Even those who do not choose hyperscreen can benefit from the digital instrument cluster and his 12.8-inch vertical touchscreen. All EQS SUVs come standard with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a Burmester audio system, and wireless device charging. Warranty and Service Benz's warranty period is similar to other luxury car manufacturers such as Audi and BMW. However, unlike its German competitors, Mercedes-Benz models do not offer warranty service. His limited warranty covers 4 years for 50,000 miles. The engine warranty is 4 years for 50,000 miles. Electrical components are warranty for 10 years or 100,000 miles. No free scheduled maintenance. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.